we know that everyone in this room, that, that the children that you are dealing with, we know that every one of these kids has problems in self-control. That's what defines them. They have these problems for incredibly complex reasons, and they're, and they're endlessly different. Um, I was telling the minister last night, I work with a guy in London called David Skoos, who's one of the world's leading autism experts. And David, uh, David told me recently, he's been doing this for 30 years, He's seen 7,000 children, and no two of them were the same. Okay, that's one of the problems with using the spectrum disorder as our diagnostic category. It takes a long time to understand what's going on with the kid. Um, you can't possibly do this in a 45 or 90 minute session. We reckon it takes us about two months before we, get, before we have a, a solid functional assessment of that child's functional strengths, and the areas that need to be strengthened. So the reasons, the reasons why a child is having, uh, um, the reasons why the child's having problems with self-control can be, it can be biological, it can be social, it can be a mixture of the two. But our problem here, like everyone in this room, our problem is, okay, that's great, what do I do about it? What are the practices that I can introduce to genuinely enhance these kids' self-control? This was the question he kept on asking me last night. Is this doable? Is it doable in a public education system? Is it doable in such a way that if these kids start to have enhanced self-control, I will actually see the effects, the outcomes, in their learning, that their educational outcomes will improve? Is, that was, I don't know how many times you asked me last night. That was a lot of times. It was actually, a lot of times. So the answer to those questions is yes. First, we have to understand the distinction between self-control and self-regulation, because what we have learned, what's going to be reported tonight on the National, is that it's not actually a story about self-control. It's actually a story about self-regulation, whatever that is. Once we understand that, then what we had to do was we had to design practices that would enhance self-regulation so that we would see the improvements in self-control. Self-regulation is a story about how the child manages stress. Stress is very expensive on a child. Stress can come in many forms. Stress can be physiological. For a special needs child, the first thing we look at are the stresses of, of sounds, lights, um, other people. These are very stressful in their nervous system. They have to spend a lot of energy dealing with these. Moving for them is highly stressful. So the first thing we look at are physiological stresses. Then we look at emotional stresses. These children suffer unbelievable anxiety. Anxiety is a huge burner of energy for a child. Then we look at cognitive. I just told you arithmetic is very tiring. Cognitive tasks are incredibly tiring for a child. They burn a lot of energy. Then we look at social. For a child that's having trouble navigating its way through the playground, this is a huge burner of energy. And then finally, we look at pro-social, because we want these children, we do want these children to be empathetic, to be altruistic. And these are huge burners, too, when you have to give up your piece or share it. We know we can do this for every single kid. Every single kid has a gift. I loved what the minister just said. For some kids, it's going to be acting. For some kids, we have, you've got Adele Diamond in, in, in BC showing us that we can get the same effects that I've been talking about through music, taekwondo, and yoga. And those are only the first four that we've looked at, and sport, obviously. So what we do is we take our clinicians, this is what they're reporting tonight on the National, we take our SLPs and we train them first in self-regulation so that they know that the first thing they have to do when they're working with the child is they've got to figure out how do I calm his nervous system down. Then you can do your speech language. Then he will, in fact, learn. And the gains he makes will be meaningful. 